All right, how's it going? We're going to go through part two of Autocrat. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, look at that first. That gives you a, an overview of what it does and how to get the basics right. We're gonna go to the more advanced part, which is how to add images into Autocrat. Now, this does get a bit complicated, so I hope you bear with me and follow along. Uh, last time, we, um, we ended up with this where we managed to get some um, exhibition tags done. So we're gonna use the same idea, but we're gonna add an image to that. Um, first thing you need to do is edit your template so that you've got an image attach tag. Because uh, we're gonna have to add an extra question, uh, which is to uh, add the, the image there, which the respondent will upload themselves. So I'm gonna add that over here. To make it into two columns, you can, um, you can simply do the insert table and then hide the table or turn the width down to zero. That's a easy way of allowing Google Docs to uh, do two. So select all the borders and just make it white or something like that. That's another way of doing it. Okay, so we've got our template folder done. That's step one. Step two is go to your um, questions and make sure that you've added a question where the respondent can upload uh, an image. So we'll move that to the back. All right, this is now an upload question. There it is, okay, continue. Upload your image and um, only allow images, otherwise it's gonna break. Maximum one is safe. Right now we're only gonna look at doing a single image and having um, these things are helpful. Um, next thing you need to do is view folder and make it public. Because by default, you're gonna have restrictions and it's really hard for Autocrat or for a viewer to see it when they have to log in. So uh, this is the new folder where those uploaded image will appear. Click on that, click on share and change the permission so that it's not just me who can see it, but anyone with the link. That way, um, the respondent can actually see it instead of it being blocked. So anyone can view, there we go. All right, so what that does is any image that gets uploaded here is accessible. Uh, it can be seen uh, when we look into it through Autocrat. All right, so once we've done that, uh, we're going to move on to our spreadsheet. Notice there's a new column here called Upload Your Image. I'm gonna start by uh, going ahead and uh, firing a response through. Artwork colors, medium performance, um, guitar and vocals. All right, so now there's an upload your image question. We're going to go ahead and uh, find an image that's suitable. I'm gonna use this one. There it is, upload. and submit. So what, what we've just done is, um, whoops, that was the last video. Let's uh, get back to this one. I've just uploaded this photo uh, as a project photo. Uh, and so if you have a look into here, notice the new line of um, data that's just come in includes a photo. Now, I wanna talk about how um, Google or how Autocrat and Google work. So this is a photo that I uploaded. Notice that this is not like a .png um, file name. So Autocrat can't actually use that. Autocrat will need you to put a little line of code in for that to work. So I've just had um, got a line of code here. I'll chuck it in the description below as well. But the next step is you need to include an extra column. So over here, um, before the ones that Autocrat generates, go add extra column, and in this box, paste the line of code. There we go. I'll just delete that. So that's the line of code you wanna paste in the very top uh, first row of your new column that you've made. Let's try it again, make sure it works. It does work. So it's just called image link, and what it does is it looks at this file. Uh, I'll go through the line of code. It says, um, if there's a response, call this line image link. You don't need to worry about it, but it's a substitute. This is important. It goes and looks at column G. If your um, um, upload image question is in a different column, then just change it to, you know, substitute H 
uh, uh, semicolon H if the data is on the column H. Uh, and likewise, if it was on this column, if it was your third question and it was the upload, then you would go column E and so on. So just look at your spreadsheet to see where which column you need to look into. I've looked into column G because that's where this file is. Now what this line of code does is it uh, looks into that and it converts it to a file name. So notice that this, if I click into it, is a file name. This is gonna work um, whether you're logged in or not because it's a file name. Yeah, um, so now um, we're going to set up Autocrat in the same way that we did. So extension Autocrat open. Uh, when you go into Autocrat, you've uh, chosen your new template with the image attach um, tag. And uh, over here, when you bind it, don't bind it to upload your image because that's the column that Autocrat can't recognize. You've got to bind it to the image link. Uh, remember, just earlier we said that image link is the one that Autocrat can read. They can't read this because that's not an image um, URL. It's not a actual image, it's a location, whereas this converts the location into an actual link, link that you can use. So make sure you select image link from here and that you've chosen image over here as well. All right, the rest of it's the same, so let's save it. And let's have a demo run of this response. So uh, artist, Mr. Sham colors, medium, piano, oops, uh, violin and piano. Uh, here's a performance, just making up a few things. Add file. Once again, we're gonna upload the this artwork and submit. All right, there it is. So now, this new one has just gone through. Notice that in image link, it's got that as an image. And when Autocrat scans through it and churns out the new document, um, there it is. Um, you might have to then tinker around with the image width and making sure it, it suits what you're doing as well as a layout. But um, anyway, that's how you do it. And finally, um, an email is gonna, gonna shoot through pretty soon with that sent back to your respondent. So there you go. Hope that was helpful um, and all the best with Autocrat. There it is.